Okay, uh, graticules, both the eyepiece and the um, stage graticule. So what we've got here is, I'm going to imagine that this is something I can see down a microscope. I've simply labelled this cell A so we know which one we're talking about, but let's imagine that's part of what I can uh, view down a microscope. And I need to calculate the size of it. Now, obviously I, I can't put a ruler onto my microscope slide because we don't really get rulers that, that small. And even if I did, I'd have to have it in the same kind of focal plane um, as, as my as what I was looking at, which is going to be very difficult to do. Um, so I can't really measure the, the size of it directly. So what I've got to do instead is use these things, graticules. And they come in two flavours, I suppose. One which is the eyepiece graticule. And this is going to be the thing that you look down. So when you're looking at it, it's just going to be um, you know, a series of lines, something like that. Um, and then the stage graticule, which is the one that comes on a slide and will look something like that. Um, now these things, generally speaking, most of the ones you're going to come across, they will be one millimetre long and they will have generally a hundred divisions of them. So when you look at this under a microscope, that little line there in reality is a hundred millimetres, uh, sorry, one millimetre long and it's divided to a hundred. Now this makes things a bit awkward because if we're used to working in micrometers, um, a hundred, a one millimetre divided by a hundred means that every, if, we, if we're looking at that, it would look something like um, under the microscope, six, seven, eight, nine. it would look something like this, it'd say 0, 10, 20. Each one of those um, small divisions is going to be 10 micrometers or if you want it in millimetres, 0.1. Usually that's what it says on the graticule. It says 0.1. Um, I think it's easier to think of it in terms of micrometres. So if you need to get that in your head first of all that each division is going to be 10 micrometres or think of it in your head, um, I think that's easier. Okay. So using some um, extremely complex uh, technology, I'm going to try and show you how to do uh, this measurement. So here is an example of an eyepiece unit. This is what you'd see. Um, you know, this is the, the one that you end up turning around to try and line the things up. And here is an example of a stage graticule. Okay, and I've just done a few markings on it. I've only gone up to 20. Okay, so that would be on my um, microscope stage. And when I looked down on it, uh, my eyepiece unit, I'd try and sort of superimpose them and I'd, I'd move it around until it was level and I'd, I'd get it so that it was both in focus. And there we go. So it might take me a little bit to, to get them around. Now the trick is to try and line these up so that they're in the same direction. So if I've done it like that, okay. Now what I want to do is to find a part where what I'm trying to work out is how big each of these eyepiece units are. If I know how big one of these is, then, then I'm laughing. I, I can work everything else out. So the whole point of this is to work out how big one unit is. So I'd line it up, and I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to put it there. And I'm going to say, ah, one, two, three, say what, four of my eyepiece units. Was it four? Sorry, one, two, three of my eyepiece units are the same as ten of those small units. Remember, each of those ten small units is ten micrometers. So that's like saying a hundred. Okay, and get rid of that now because I now know that three eyepiece units are a hundred microns big. Okay, on that particular magnification. Every time you change the objective lens, because the lenses have slight differences in them, you would have to recalculate um, this. You know, you might think, well, shouldn't it come out exactly the same? I'm just going to see it bigger. It doesn't matter. The measurements are the same. Um, no, you, you've got to redo it, recalibrate this every time. So, if three eyepiece units are 100 microns, one eyepiece unit, one eyepiece unit is going to be 100 divided by three microns, which is. 33.3 okay so I took the number of microns on here divided it by the eyepiece units um, you know, depending on which ones I did if I'd said that if I thought it lines up better with um, 
you know, if, if I'd guessed and, and said, oh, well, I, I could I reasonably say, oh, one ice piece unit, I can measure it there. In reality, the, the bigger the spread you tend to get, the, the more accurate your um, result seems to be. Okay, but once I know how big one eyepiece unit is, I can now put this measurement over the top of my actual specimen. I can look at it, I can say, okay, well, one cell appears to be, what, one, two, two and a bit eyepiece units long. And maybe I end up making a bit of a guess and I say, oh, it's about 2.3 eyepiece units. And so all I need to do then is to calculate the actual size of the cell, I say 2.3 eyepiece units times 33.3, which is um, the size of my um, of one eyepiece unit. And what I end up with is 2.3 times 33.3, 76.59 microns. Quick mental check, does that fit in line with how, I, how long I expect plant cells to be? Well, 50, 60, 70, 80 microns, that sounds fine. Yeah, that's okay. So there we go, I've got my value.